Hey there, everybody. Thet here, and welcome back to Thet Plays RimWorld 1.0. We got mods. Yes, we do. We got mods. How about you? To be specific, about uh, 33 extra mods, bringing our mod total right now to 129. For those of you who are, who are counting, um, we can also we can see how many traders are available at all times now. That's pretty nifty. It's a uh, Ooh, little nice mod we got in there. Color-coded mood bars up at the top. Looking pretty swood. Couple more things in our architect menu. It's pretty great. More cannons. Which has nothing yet, but it will soon. Our uh, security tab is now uh, greatly increased. We will have some fun with that. Don't you worry. What else we got going on here? We got the manager menu, finally. Some research to be done here, but we'll get to research in a minute. So now I can finally see, like, forestry... If I ever decide I don't have enough uh, certain things in my colony, primarily like wood. Although right now I'm at 3,000 wood, I'll probably never need to uh, have a managed wood order. But I can put one in there anyway. Check this out. It's got a new job. Don't clear areas necessarily. Actually do that, yeah. Deny enemies any possible cover in the killing fields. Yeah, just clear... You clear all the home area. Well, yeah, why not? We'll start with that. Clear all cells that are in the uh, wind turbines catchment area. Yeah, why not? See how that works out. Oh, we don't have a place to do management. We don't have a manager desk yet, but we can, you know... If we wanted to tame things... What the hell is an Animus Vox? Excuse me? What are you? You are a predator of some sort. You are wild, or you are a small canine with latent psionic abilities. Huh. Often seen on the rim as pets. Often looking for someone to bond to. Well, hey! Come over here and bond to us, my dude. Bulby's in a great mood. She'll come and see you. Probably, when she's done milking Annabelle. Yeah, it's pretty great. Speaking of research, um... Oh, we've got our first infused item. Yeah, baby. Shielded Spacer Tech Cloth Duster. It, the very first item we make is freaking legendary. Double the market value, add some psychic sensitivity, extra hit points. I mean, that's pretty nice. And that's exactly what the infusion does. It just get, adds extra statistics to things that already exist. It's pretty great. I'll worry about the manager desk later. Speaking of research, dude, look at this tree. Look at this bloody research tree. We got this whole thing to go after now. And someday we will. Some year. Also, uh, there's some things that we have to re-research. Like uh, anatomy and physiology for our implants and such. Thanks to uh, some of our mods. Namely, I believe that one is Rose Bionics and Surgery Expansion. So that should be fun. Should we continue researching robotics? I mean, probably for right now. World map doesn't look any different yet. It will someday, probably, especially since we have the Real Ruins mod, which may let us find some extra things while we're out there slinking about, Slip. We're also... What are you doing with this rice? How much rice were you carrying? Frog Annie, I mean, are you joking me here? Laying down more sterile tile, it's going to be pretty great, probably. At least I would imagine. So now let's go through some of this stuff. We got no new orders. It's pretty great. Zones, we don't need new zones. Zones are for losers. Blueprints hasn't changed. Structures, we now have new rules for bridges. We can build basic bridge, wooden bridges, I should say. The uh, old-fashioned ones, which we already have. The old-fashioned ones and the basic ones uh, can only hold, like... The basic ones can't hold anything, but the vanilla ones, I guess I'll call them, can support light items. As you can see, this one can't support jack, although you can make them out of ironwood. That's pretty great. Deep water can be built over deeper water. I believe those don't hold anything either. Technically, we could still put the marble wall. We can keep the marble walls here, but if we tried to move them, we'd have to move them somewhere else. So that's... They're grandfathered in, let's put it that way. Boardwalk is like... Kind of bridge squares, but you can... Put them on like adjacent to land area. Just make it look... Like I could put one there and make that all... 
more uniform, for example. I will probably want that a lot later. We have uh, roof support, which I'm gonna need right here. So that was uh, pretty perfect as far as timing goes. How uh, we go two in on this side, well, three in, and three on in this side, and we'll just pretend that's close enough to perfect. And I like the idea of just making them out of wood. Anyway, that's structure. Production, we have caravan refinery. <laughs> you can make chem fuel on the go. Caravan stove for cooking on the go. It's pretty great. Manager desk for managing on the go. Actually, you're not supposed to use that on the go, but you know how it is. You know how we do. Let's actually move these animal sleeping spots into like an ant, into the hospital or something. Bulpy's in a shooting frenzy. It's pretty great. Don't get it twisted. Um, I've not thought this through <laughs> exactly. I've been so excited for these new mods. I don't even know what to do. Uh, you know what? Let's shove a couple over here. Dino got a case of the hurt from a cassowary. We're gonna we're gonna fix Dino up eventually. We'll just move those down there. And we'll build a manager desk there eventually. We can build a new bionics workbench. We're gonna have to someday. What else we got? I think that's all the new stuff we have right away in here. But we may discover more things later. Storage has been moved into its own area, which I actually adore. And we might end up using soon. Eventually, I'm going to expand this kitchen area. Don't don't worry about it. Furniture has been moved into its own area. We've got a little tiny caravan table. Easily foldable. It's pretty adorable. Uh, chem fuel powered lantern to take on the go. Some chairs. Floodlights, which actually tell you how much light they flood. We're probably going to replace some of our outdoor lighting. Even if this stuff takes electricity. I mean, look how much light it gives, dude. That's nuts. Got some street lamps. Doesn't give as much, but it's still pretty nice. Garden lamps, which I guess you can't tell how much they give. An outdoor solar lamp, which is nifty, I suppose. I guess, does it literally come with its own battery or does it just come with the solar? I actually am now curious about that. And, uh, you know, we got 153 freaking components to play with. Let's find out. Let's throw one right here and see how it works. And then some regular outdoor lamps as well. It's pretty great. Like I said, we're probably going to update to more modern lighting here. I, that's what I'm imagining. In fact, let's just go ahead and tear down these street lamps. These are no longer swood in my book. We're modern people, dang it. We're going to grow some modern things. By the way, about that research tab, <laughs> I didn't say this previously, but it took literally 2 minutes and 40 seconds. I timed it with a stopwatch. 2 minutes and 40 seconds for this screen to load when I first started up the game. One of these days, I'm going to get fed up with it and just record myself loading it. You'll probably watch it. And you'll think I'm nuts. Caravan generator is now a thing as well. We can build invisible conduits. We have to get rid of the conduits to build invisible ones, but <laughs> if you don't think that's worth it, yes, build invisible conduits here and here. I will get rid of the visible ones, and it'll make me very happy. Yes. Yes. Anything to hide these ugly freaking conduits, my dude. At least most of them. You know, you don't have to hide every single one. But, I mean, their stats are literally identical. I love invisible conduits. Can't do anything with the new batteries and stuff yet. We'll get to that later. Security! <laughs> well, we'll go to that in a bit. Uh, miscellaneous. Oh, you know what? We had a thing in production. Quarries. I forgot to go over those. We got quarries now. Yes, we do. We got quarries. How about you? You can build them over places that uh, had to be mined out. I do believe you literally require... Like, places that were either once underground or totally underground. You can build a big one or a small one. I kind of want to put a big one right here just to see what it does. We're going to build a big quarry there. And since we have miscellaneous, we're just going to build a platform for it. Oh, right here. I'm very curious to see how that goes. We've got a trading spot, which, thank God. Please. Do your trading in here, dudes. I'll even make a spot for it. Uh, they're amazed by our hospitality. That's good, because I didn't even touch them. We have new tiles. They look pretty darn swood. We're going to go with the Jade Mosaic, though, for this. Just have it match the other one. And then we'll, we'll play with some new tiling for flooring, I think, later. 
Let's see, nothing else in miscellanea right now. Oh, cooking tools are a thing. I should probably have those in here, considering they uh, boost work speed near cooking tops. And I want the cooking, the cooktop to be uh, over here as well. You know what? Let's throw down some more invisible conduits right over here. We'll get rid of those visible conduits and everyone will have a good time. Yeah, we're going to move this bad boy over here once these once these conduits are built. And then we can go ahead and cook a little bit more efficiently at the very least. We'll just move on for right this second. Industrial, nothing new here yet. Probably won't be anything new here. Floors, we saw all the new stuff. Really nice, fancy looking tiles. That we can make out of pretty much anything. You know, if you want to make a steel tile. I mean, they, they're beautiful. Gotta say. So I will probably place these in rooms eventually. Do up some of these. I mean, got a problem here with some non-heavy bridges. But I, we will be able to research better bridges. And I think that'll do a lot for us. Hey, we can turn loose stone terrain from a quarry into usable soil. I can convert a quarry into soil? That's pretty cool. Uh, nothing new in ship. No, well, we got a water gazing spot. I mean, that that is new. I can't deny this. This, this is a thing we did not have before. Here, you want to go out and stare at the river? Be my guest. Let's see. Temperature. Nothing yet, but there is some research. I do have um, centralized climate control, so we'll be able to eventually research, you know, regular, like, centralized air conditioning units, which I'm looking forward to having very much. Uh, and that'll actually go right here eventually. Nothing in more cannons. Uh, remote tech. This is where the portable power unit is, by the way. It is a battery with solar panels on it. Which is pretty darn swood, if you do ask me. You didn't ask me, but if you did, that's what I'd say. I'd say that's a pretty darn swood thing you got going on there. Anyway. Oh, man. Yeah, get rid of these now. Do me this favor. Why are you connected there? Connect to the top. Connect up there. So I don't have to see your stupid lights. All right. Look at how they're all connected now. You can't even... You can barely tell. You can see a little line out from here, but that's it. Which works for me, dude. Yeah, get rid of those. Ugly-ass conduits. I don't want them. They're icky and gross. Oh, well, that didn't work out well. Well, how dare you? Can't believe we actually drove it in Manhunter. Uh, you better, yeah, keep running there, uh... Pepsi. Don't worry. We got a Reynold to take care of it. Yeah, yeah, no, I could send the gunner. But I didn't. Jeb rocking up some more conduits. Oh, I can replace all this. All this actual garbage. Actually, I could have replaced that a while ago. Why do I have this actual garbage here? Oh. But between that and being able to put down some really nice flooring, some infused items, there's a lot of good stuff happening. Pepsi is actually needs rescue. Excuse me for a minute. What actually happened here? How did how did this happen? Reynold, help. Um. I guess we're going to have to heal Pepsi right up here. So, that's a thing. Dude, I should have looked for a mod that actually <laughs> let them run to a certain spot when they're in danger. Because I know there's a mod like that. I actually know that exists. Anyway. Too close to map edge. I'll give you too close to map edge, you freaking loser. Alright. Reynold, do you have... Any medical skill? No, not really. So I need... Hydraulic. Jump on Odette? 
and then go rescue Pepsi. That's the best order to do that in. Okay. Well, that wasn't ideal. That's right, you go to hell and you die. Actual jerk. And then, yeah, you go take rat meat to inventory, I guess. That's your uh, contribution here today. Alright. Well, that sucked. A lot. I'm gonna go ahead and say uh, no medicine, because we're gonna need to patch you up ASAP. Alright. Where are you moving her? No, put put her right here. Put, it, put her right here. I can't have you put her anywhere else. Okay, you know what? I know exactly what to do. Uh, a loud area. Guest area, sure. This is guest area. Restrict, uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. hydraulic to guest area. I gotta extend guest area up to there. To pick her up. There we go. Hydraulic. Rescue. Bring her to guest area. Tend. There we go. There we go. That bought her another hour. Probably end up having uh, some infection. But that's nothing we can't take care of and live with. Oh, she's a master. Well, he's a master of so many animals. All right, Pepsi's gonna be fine. Okay, we're good enough. Clear a loud area. Get rid of that. Get rid of this. Cause ew. And unrestrict you. Okay. Now go ahead and actually rescue her. Cool. Stupid little fox. All right. Well, I mean, should have known they were gonna put down a bridge here, but whatever. At least now this spot can genuinely be roofed up. And now there are mad cassowaries. How many cassowaries are on the map? That's the question of the day. Uh, about five of them? All right, we can do this. Uh, Dismas, Reynold, Senpai, Draft. Oh, and Hydraulic. Draft, Search and Destroy. Um, dang it. <laughs> Someone else now needs to grab Pepsi. Uh, sorry, Pepsi. I'm not throwing you on the ground on purpose. I promise. Uh, Sylvia, can you go grab Pepsi for me? All right. Someone's already started shooting. And we do have turrets that can shoot too, so... I'm not incredibly worried about this. I think we'll be fine in the long run. Uh, let's see... I actually didn't need to see his range, but thank you for that. We also have the range finder mod. Uh, you were supposed to be drafted, though, Dismas. Go find things to make dead. May want to switch to your pistol for this, though. All right. Let's select all cassowaries so we can monitor where they are. One of them got into a fight with Robert. He Robert's probably going to lose this fight at this rate. That's all right. Hydraulic's up here, and he will be hunting. Even if he gets completely destroyed, I believe we can repair him. Yep. Destroyed by the thing. By the cassowary, I should say. Someone's got their OC rifle out. So this... Okay, so an outdoor solar lamp only functions between 1,700 to 700. At night. Okay. That's interesting. You did shoot Dumpling. I don't appreciate that, but I understand it. Dude, this thing is just hunting all of our robots. What a jerk. All right, two down. Three down. Are there any alive? There are four dead, so there's one alive. 
No, they're all dead. Or downed. Alright, cool. Allow them all. I'll draft everyone. You done throwing some really stupid stuff at me? I would appreciate it if you were. Okay, Bob will go heal up. So we got Robert's spot. Somewhere down here. Robot is destroyed. Okay. I know there's something you could do with this. Construction scale too low. Okay, Dismas. Repair robot. The man can do it. Can you repair Bob? No, not yet at least. All right, repair the robot. Tyrannical Arrow Kin League has a few items to trade. How y'all doing? What you got? Silver, pemmican, modified steam tech throwing knives? <laughs> I mean, they have extra accuracy and throwing speed, so I guess they're not that terrible. We do have new things we can construct, by the way. We, at least we should. Wrenches to help with uh, mechanoid disassembly, construction speed, stuff like that. Basically tools. It's pretty great. We can make some shells in bulk. We can make a bunch of shells for weapons we can't build yet. It's pretty great. Make a ball peen hammer. Brass knuckles. Um, excuse me, Mr. Bench. We have plenty of electricity for you. Don't even. Make a few bionic things. You can make a data slate to help with research speed, which we might need a couple of. Demon has given birth. It's pretty awesome. Let's see. I don't know what else there is off the top of my head. This is the drug lab. Have anything new? We can make a lot of smoke leaf. We can make penicycline in bulk now. If we were so uh, determined to do so. Make medicine in bulk. With neutramine cloth and herbal medicine. It's pretty great. We can make bandage kits, which are... 35% medical potency, so they're not very good for anything other than basically covering up food. We can make antibiotics. Which I'm not entirely sure how they work, but they require fruits, which is odd. We also have um, indoor tree farms, which allow you to grow trees indoors and also much closer to each other. So Senpai, Derek, Sylvia, all of our growers have some extra work they can do. Hey, I saw that. Don't Eat my freaking... Don't eat my heel root, dude. Pepsi, how you doing? No longer in a medical emergency. Some of these got healed up right good. Derek's at a minor break risk. This person we can trade with. I mean... I don't feel like we have to, but we can. Looks like all the lights got taken out except for this one. Let's get rid of this one. Yeah, there's uh, there's an infection. We knew that was going to happen. Go ahead and let uh, Pepsi have at least regular quality medicine or better. And I'm sure she'll be fine. How did you get hurt? OC defense rifle. Ah, that, ah, we're just used to that by now. That's what they do. They just shoot everything. All right. So we got a lot of things. Oh my god, that, that, that is disgusting. Ugh, we need to research better ones than that. So yeah, so now that it's past the hour of 17, this just runs during the night. Providing a little bit of power. That's nifty. That's pretty nifty, I'm not gonna lie. Is it my favorite lamp that ever did lamp? I don't know about that, but I mean, I think it's pretty cool. I think we should... Probably consider having a floodlight over here for for this bad boy, though. In fact, for all this stuff. Just go ahead and flood it up right here. Alright. We have plenty of lighting in here still. Yes. Plenty of lighting in here. Plenty... Eh, I mean... Decent lighting in here. Maybe not plenty. We do need more lighting and stuff in the kitchen. Hey, can you, like, reconnect? There you go. Let's move this bad boy over. Move this bad boy right next to it. I can put it right there. I want to put some kitchen tools, cooking tools next to that. 
have all that stuff down and together. Maybe give him a steel dining chair to be comfy while cooking. And bada bing bada boom. We've got a little bit of a groundwork to start expanding that area. And down here we have a quarry. Well, in theory. All right. I see the quarry platform. And I assume it can hold quarry stuff. So did the quarry not work? Did the quarry just fall down because I put it over like thin roof or something? I wasn't paying attention. You can make a feed trowel? Oh. For animal feed. That's new as well. I like new things. Um, I, I guess try again. Maybe try on, oh, because they had to clear out the stuff. Uh, okay. There was no support. I see what happened. So let's, I, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to do production, quarry, slap it right here. Slap it. Slap it right. I want I want a quarry here. So I'm trying to get at. It. Okay. So Hoy vey. Structure. Roof support. Here. Here. And then we could dig that out, put the quarry in the middle, I'm thinking. Yeah, like right here. We'll see how that works out. If it does. So now let's look at security while we got a minute. We got all the usual stuff. We can upgrade our turrets now. So this little dinky thing here, the steel mini, you can be upgraded. What happens if we upgrade them? Well, we got all this new information to look at now. Shooting accuracy goes up to 97%. Requires 40 more watts of power. Durability goes up to 180 instead of 120. Yeah, this durability before it needs to be replaced. And we can directly aim this turret. So, I don't know about you, but I'm thinking we want to upgrade all these little dinky boys. So, we're going to put in the order for that. It does cost resources, but, I mean, it's probably worth it. 40 materials in a component. Auto cannon turret can be upgraded as well. If we upgrade that, well, it becomes less flammable by 30%. Gains a sweet little amount of hit points. 270, or not 275, 225 it looks like. Becomes more accurate, takes up twice as much power, but has more durability. I mean... Do we have 40 plastic? We do have 40 plastic, but we don't really have the advanced components for this, so I'm going to let that sit. Probably not upgrade that for right this second. So that's cool, right? Yeah, that's cool. We can also... Oh, we can upgrade mortars now, too, can't we? Yes, we can. So if we upgrade a mortar... It's damage and stuff depends on what ammo you're putting in it. But the cooldown goes down by seven freaking seconds. Miss radius goes down. Direct hit chance goes up. Minimum range and regular range do not change. <laughs> but that's not that expensive either. I say we upgrade these as well. Got our traps, got our automatics. That's all the same. A ballista is new. It fires slowly. It's pretty darn huge. It uh, costs 40 wood to rearm. You can shoot it 40 times before it has to rearm, though. It's not too bad. Decent accuracy at short range, but it really goes away after that. Decent damage as well, and it can also be upgraded. More shots, more hit points. I mean, by default, it has, what, 200 hit points? It's not too bad. Obviously flammable. It's made out of wood. I mean, it's pretty neat. Is it something that I would... You know, depend on to save my butt? Probably not, but it's pretty cool. We got a sniper turret that we can build, which, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm excited. <laughs> let's, let's not get it twisted. I kind of want to put, like, one here and one here, like, right away. Uh, that's some pretty smooth accuracy as well. 80, 80, 80 for 20 damage. If I upgrade it, 99% for 150 watts of power is not that bad. Not that bad. How much power does it take normally? A hundred. That's really not that bad. 60 shots before a rearm once upgraded. Warm up of 1.2. I mean... 
That's really not that bad. I don't know if you heard this, but that's not that bad. I kind of want to put it. No, I don't. I don't like that position for it. The corners. Oh, the corners. This was made for corners. So let's let's slap a. We'll wait for that to get to move. Then we'll slap a sniper turret there. There's a machine gun emplacement. Looks like this. You sit behind it and you put someone on it. I mean, it can also be upgraded. 450 shots before rearm is pretty good. Uh, six burst count, but nearly like over three seconds per reload. Not reload, per volley, I should say. Doesn't seem that good to me. Build some simple ass barricades, simple ass barriers, tank trap barrier. 40 effectiveness. Obviously, they're not as effective at protecting you as freaking, you know, embrasures because you're literally being protected by a wall with a small hole in it. But it's pretty good. You get a regular crossbow. These ones, these rest of these probably cannot be upgraded because we got a couple of uh, turret ones here. We got the vanilla security expansion, which is what I think these are all part of, if I remember correctly, but I could be wrong. And also TE turret expansion and turret extensions, which is what I'm pretty sure all the upgrades are from. Speaking of which, I'm looking at my mod list. We got turn it off and on, which means that when items or benches are not being used, they only take one power. Because why should it be, they be taking power when they're not in use? You know what I'm trying to say? My microwave doesn't take power when it's not in use. I'm just saying. I mean, it draws a minimal amount of power enough to show me the freaking clock on the front. But other than that, don't even at me, bro. Okay. <laughs> so that should be fun. I probably won't even build the wooden crossbow. It really just doesn't seem that great. Shots, 100 shots before rearm is pretty good. Decent damage as well. I mean, it doesn't seem bad now looking at it compared to the ballista. It's not too bad. A support gun to light machine gun mounted. Not too shabby. Burst shot of 12 is pretty darn good, actually. That th This thing could shoot a lot. Incendiary gun with incendiary rounds to light your enemies on fire. Guided rocket system. Reloads slowly, but does a lot of da of splash damage. Three second warm up. Okay, this this has me curious. This has me curious. I want to see what a what a rocket system can do. Let's. I don't know where to drop this. It doesn't. Oh, is this manually? Yeah, it looks like it has to be manually. Fired, which is probably fine, actually. And it would be great to test it out then. So I tell you what, let's put the, one of these bad boys down here. Just to see how it works. I can shoot it at something. Colony turret. It's a large standard turret. Six burst. 4.3 seconds between shots. Okay, accuracy. Not much damage. It's really just a basic turret with way too much power consumption honestly seems kind of garbage be straight up with you shotgun canister it's a single shot i believe yeah fires one shot before it needs to be rearmed not that great ideal for hallways apparently so i mean it's neat it's like a trap sun canister probably the same thing spiked walls and tribal spiked walls i will probably never use those but it's nice to know that we have those Nonetheless, anyway, that was just a little bit of a tour of all the mods we have available here, and we will probably learn even more about them as we move on, because I haven't covered them all. Don't even get it twisted. Barely begun the look. Uh, we are, by we, I mean Pepsi's kicking this infection's ass. I have nothing to worry about there. But that is going to be it for this episode of Pep Plays RimWorld 1.0. Let me know what you think of the mods you've seen so far. Because we got a lot more to go over as time goes on. But we'll probably go over those a little bit more organically. As in, as we discover their features, we'll look a little bit closer into them. But again, thank you very much for watching this episode of That Plays Rim World 1.0. Give it a like if you liked it. Subscribe if you want to see more. 
I'm gonna plant way too many apple trees, orange trees. I know my fruits. And I will see you in the next video. Oi, boy. boy.